Adam Kid here coming at you guys with another deck profile of the Spirit deck. This one is completely TCG legal after the release of Legacy of the Valiant, so I decided to show it off to you guys in case you want to play the deck immediately after the cards have come out. So without further ado, 3 Aratama, 3 Nigatama, 2 Izanami, 1 Maharagari, 1 Tsukiyomi, and 1 Reitsu. That's the normal Spirit line that I use in pretty much everything. Uh, if you really do not like Maharagari, you can obviously take it out for another Reitsu. It's perfectly fine. It would kind of hurt my feelings a little bit, but... One Throat Time Thrasher, two Kage Tokage, and one Blackwing Zephyrus the Elite. These are monsters that you can get in the field so that you can pull off the combo with Aratama and Nigatama. And another level 4 monster on the field. So that you can end up drawing some cards. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put it in the description, and I'll probably link it somewhere. And Zephyros is a new addition to the deck. I figured out that it would be kind of cool if you could reuse, like, Fiendish Chain or something like that. Or, after citing Prohibition something else, change up DNA surgery. Then you have Trigodia and BLS which are kind of self-explanatory, whoops. And 3 Pi Duality for more speed. 2 Creature Swap because Spirit plus Creature Swap equals very nice. 1 Instant Fusion alongside, you know, these 4 guys up here will allow you to make more XYZs happen and make your combos with Nigatama and Aratama go off more often. 2 MST. One pot of dichotomy because your play will always result in a pot of dichotomy being able to go off. Door for more speed and dark hole to get rid of the field. As for traps, two deep prison, two fiendish chain, and a mirror force to make sure that the attacks on you directly aren't going to hurt you so badly. One phoenix swing, one blast. Since Nigatama, as I've explained countless times, will always resolve when it's sent to the graveyard as long as you control spirit. If you control spirit and activate things, one bottomless, compulse, torrential, and solemn warning so that you can stop your opponent's summons, and one seven tools with abandon so that your play can go off a little bit better. I found that 3 MST was a little bit too clumpy and didn't hurt all the things I wanted it to, so seven tools was pretty good. It also can stop warning. That's kind of As far as the extra deck goes, one silent honors, one evil swarm guy, diamond dyer, abyss dweller, Augusto Emerald, Cowboy, Mace Croak, Photon Pop Operative, Black Ship, Evolved Chain, King of the Feral Imps, Gem Knight Pearl, Crazy Box, Evil Storm Ouroboros, and Darkfire Dragon. Um, just working my way backwards, Darkfire Dragon is your only instant fusion target because you're only going to really need to resolve one instant fusion, and if you need to resolve two, you can always dichotomy it back into the deck, and or Emerald it back into the deck if you really need to. So I feel that one is always just kind of essential. Or a Boros, because I feel like against Exodia or other degenerate decks like that, because you do have timing a little bit of trouble against decks that don't interact with you. So Ouroboros is pretty cool in those matchups because you can discard their key cards out of their hand. Crazy Box is against Skill Drain, because that deck can really mess you up. And King of Thralems, obviously, for Kage Tokage. Pearl is played because you can revive it with Emerald, and that's kind of cool. This new addition to the deck is the Vavol Chain. If you summon Aratama and Nigatama and one of these guys, you could end up exceeding Nigatama and one of these guys into a Vavol Chain, detach the Nigatama, and send the Nigatama from your deck to the graveyard, and then you basically pot a Greed, which is kind of nice. So that's always a new play that you can do. Or you can just send Zephyrus to the graveyard. Set up another Exceed that way. The last thing I want to touch up on are Sun Honors and Extinction Knight. They're going to be a little bit hard to get initially, and I'm going to give you guys a couple of suggestions as to what to do without them in case you are not able to acquire them immediately. Uh, a second Emerald or a second Cowboy is always really good because you can keep on recycling Emerald and you'll just never run out of cards to search for and plays to do. And a second Cowboy because if they negate your first one, you can always set up a second one and kill them that way. Or... If they set up something with 3,000 and you have to get over it with Cowboy, then you can always have a second one in reserve. So that's pretty cool. 
Another card that you can use is Gishki Merogeist, which is pretty interesting because it allows you to send cards back to the bottom of the deck. And then another cool card that you could use is Lagia, because I do side DNA surgery, so you can change everything into a dinosaur and do stuff like that. If you have to get one of these two, I'd recommend getting Silent Honor's Ark, because Ark is very essential for the plays that you can pull off, because they're going to have to summon something in order to get rid of the first thing that you summon. So just having this as the second thing is really essential. As far as Extinction Knight goes, it's just really nice to have just in case they negate your Aratama or something and you just aren't able to get advantage because otherwise you keep advantage so well that Evil Swimming Extinction Knight is sometimes worthless. But it's always just nice to have just in case. Uh, as far as my side deck goes, it's just generic stuff to counter the meta. You do need MST Dust for like Fire Fists and stuff that will side goes in against you because that card really, really hurts. And then Trap Stun is really good to shut off the Gozen as well. And also really good against Tom. Degenerate decks that don't interact with you, such as Chain Burn and Exodia, which sometimes you have trouble with. So that is the 